Hello and welcome to this week's training all about how to sell your 21 day challenges inside your herbal life business. So I see this all the time. A lot of you are trying to sell these 21 day challenges that you create, your team creates. And what I see often inside Instagram is that a lot of you are doing the exact same thing. You're just putting the graphic of your program, of your challenge, you're putting before and after pictures and hoping that you're going to get clients for your 21 day challenge. Well, let me tell you that this strategy is really hard. It's going to be really hard for you to get clients this way. And you probably know this if you've done it for a while. So in today's training, I want to show you a couple of different ways for you to sell your 21 day challenges through IG stories. If you guys know, IG stories is my jam. If you don't know, if you're new to my world inside YouTube, go follow me on the Fit Boss Tribe because I give daily tips for network marketers, for Herbalife distributors as well, anybody in, in different companies as well. But I mainly focus with Herbalife distributors because I know that industry well. So let's get into today's training. And I do have some slides for us today. So again, this training is how to effortlessly sell your 21 day challenges on IG stories. So with that being said, let me choose the next one is... I want to point out this one thing. Anybody who watches your stories is your hottest leads because they're watching you. They're interested. So definitely take advantage of IG stories. That's why I said, you know, I'm going to give you this training on selling your 21 day challenge challenges through IG stories because I know that is where you're going to convert the fastest. And let me tell you, 99% of my sales comes from IG stories. Like that is hands down where I do a lot of my selling. I connect there as well. I engage with my audience, but I do a lot of my selling there. And in my content, it's mostly a lot of nurturing. It's, it's mostly a lot of, you know, things that my audience can go ahead and do and get quick results. If you go to my feed, again, it's the Fit Boss Tribe on Instagram. If you go, you're going to get so much value on my feed. But if you go and look at my stories, I'm probably selling something today. So that is something that you need to take advantage of. Take advantage of of your stories and know that like your hottest leads are on stories so let's get into the training today on how to sell your 21 day challenges so the first thing is to talk about why do you offer these challenges like really get into the nitty-gritty of like what it is that you offer and like why you offer these challenges like what is it what is in it for your audience for your ideal client what are they going to get out of this 21 day challenge like what have you seen and i'm getting a little too ahead of myself but what have you seen with these 21 day challenges that is really going to help your audience i know that a lot of you may you know sell these 21 day challenges and do these because your team does them every single month. But there's a reason behind you doing these 21 day challenges and participating is probably because you truly believe in the 21 day challenges. Maybe you started your business doing these 21 day challenges. You saw amazing results. Talk about that. So that is the first one that I wanted to share with you today. The second one is to talk about what your clients can expect when working with you or joining this challenge. A lot of people don't know Herbalife, believe it or not, or don't know your industry or don't know what they can expect. So definitely go on your stories and talk about what can they expect when they work specifically with you. How are you going to coach them? What can they expect? Are they going to get like, you know, weekly text messages from you? Are they going to get put into a challenge chat with everybody in it? Are they going to get maybe like you do um, a weekly Zoom call with them to really, you know, get them on board and also to do accountability with them? Like make sure you are walking your ideal client through Instagram. Make sure that you're walking them through the process of what it is like to work with you in these challenges and just overall. So that's another thing that you can talk about on your stories as well that's really going to engage your audience 
and help them see like, okay, maybe I do want to join in on this challenge. The third thing that you can do on your stories and talk about is to show what's possible in other challenges that you've done in the past like what has been possible and I'm not just saying like post before and afters I see this so much and because I see this so much I know that probably your ideal client is not just following you but is following a lot of people in your same company in Herbalife so if they're following you and everybody else like 10 20 more people in Herbalife that they're posting the exact same before and afters like why are they gonna go with you versus someone else so what I mean by show what's possible I don't mean just put before and afters but also talk about the people that joined this challenge that got the results like what were they struggling with maybe past challenges you worked with a couple of clients like talk about these clients talk about their wins even the people that didn't like quote unquote win i know that 21 day challenges usually have like three winners you know the ones that lost the most weight or had the biggest transformation that's great but don't just talk about them talk about your own experience with your own clients what they were able to achieve, what did you work through with them. So talk about what is possible because a lot of people don't know what exactly is possible in just 21 days. The next thing I want to go over is the fourth thing that you can talk about on your stories to get more clients into your challenges is to show client testimonials. So screenshot of results, conversations that you've had with your ideal clients, with your with your current clients like or past clients, conversations you've had like what have been their wins even if they're small even if they're like you know I feel more confident I have more energy to be with my kids or I lost two pounds three pounds five pounds ten pounds twenty pounds like whatever it is that they've been able to accomplish like always screenshot your testimonials from your own clients because you have the power to like repost that and you know talk more about their story you don't have to necessarily say who it was or their name or anything like that but you can definitely talk about their transformation So when you talk about your client's transformation, you're putting the picture in your ideal client's head. The ones that are watching your stories, they're like, oh my God, I want, and you're, you're basically making them want that transformation too, because at the end of the day, they're probably in uh, the same scenario that you're talking about of your ideal client. They're probably in the same scenario. And they want help too. And now they know that you can provide them this help and they should join this challenge coming up. So definitely talk about that too. And then the fifth and last thing that I want to cover to talk about when it comes to your 21 day challenge is talk about objections that your ideal client may have. So there's always going to be resistance, right? There's always going to be some objections. There's always going to be something in your ideal client's mind that is stopping them from them joining your 21 day challenge, them becoming your clients. So a lot of the common objections is of course money. So talk about how it saves them money, like break it down for them. A lot of people think Herbalife is expensive, like talk about that, be open about it and be like, you know what? People think it's expensive, but it's not because this and this and that. And it's not because let me break it all down for you. It it comes down to like $5 a day something like that but definitely come on your stories and talk about it so people could join your challenges way more another objection that they have is probably time so talk about how easy you make you make it for them so they don't have to like waste time right a lot of people have busy lifestyle they have a lot of kids or they have you know two jobs or maybe they're doing a lot of different things and they may feel like they don't have time to work out they don't have time to meal prep they don't have time to like eat healthy make sure that you are going on your stories and talking about how you save people time how your you know, replacement shakes are time savers for the morning, how you don't have to skip breakfast anymore, how you save people time with your, with your actual guidance and what you give them. Maybe you give them like workout plans that are like 15 minutes or less for the busy people, right? Talk about all of the things that you provide to someone that's going to save them time because money and time are one of the biggest um, objections I always see. The next one is that I have for you is also 
you know, they feel like they won't finish it. This is another objection I used to hear a lot. Like they, they feel like they won't finish the 21 day challenge. They feel like they can't commit to 21 days. So talk about the accountability that you provide, you know, the chats that you're going to put them in, the check-ins that you have with them weekly, you know, or through text or through Zoom. The fact that you're going to keep them accountable, the fact that you're going to be there helping them, guiding them, you know, answering their questions, all of these things. Talk about that on your stories. So people that have this reservation, people that have this objection that, you know, maybe they won't finish it, they won't have time, they don't have, you know, it's going to be expensive. Like they're, you're, you're basically like, you're basically like putting all the objections to the side and be like, look, there's no more excuses. There's no more objections. Like join us basically, right? The next and last objection that I have here that I've seen a lot is that not much can change in 21 days. And we went over this, but like talk about that because a lot of people don't know what really can happen in 21 days, what type of transformation they're going to see. And I don't mean just physical, but actually like energy wise, confidence wise, like them even knowing that, okay, they can actually commit to 21 days and then go beyond that as well. Talk about all of these different objections so you can have more people in your challenges. This is key. And why did I say talk about, I want you to go on your stories and actually talk like I am right now, right here. Like talk on your stories and make sure you go through each and all of these points on different days. Right here, I gave you five different things to talk about on your stories. But even with these objections that I gave you, this is like I gave you four objections. This is like four different days worth of content that you can go on your stories and talk about it so you can get more people in your challenges. So that is what I have for you today let me know if you have any questions down below this video and if you want more help in regards to your content in regards to client attraction then i invite you to join us inside the content club this is my membership that i have and i'm gonna stop sharing my screen so i can talk to you guys like this is the membership that i have this is only 12 dollars a month and you get monthly done for you captions this is this these captions are specifically for network marketers this is specifically for network marketers that want to grow their customer base and want to grow their team all the captions i give you every single month inside the content club is like around that is basically talking to your ideal clients about joining your business and talking to your ideal clients about the the actual products and what it has done for you and everything is just laid out strategically you can literally copy and paste that caption and be done with your content for the day or you can tweak it a little bit to you know sound more like you right but at the end of the day, the like the meat of the content is already there. The captions are already done for you. So every single month you have new ones. So if you want more information on that, you can head the link down below this video. I'll put it there so you can read the entire sales page of what more I offer inside the content club. There's way more than just done for you captions. I have monthly and weekly trainings in there as well. And I provide you with a whole resource, PDFs, eBooks, of a lot of things that can help in your network marketing business. So I hope you enjoyed this training. I hope that it was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, again, you can always comment down below this video or follow me on Instagram and DM me there as well. So I hope to see you on the next one.